What's up guys, my name is Cubits, and I'm bringing you a mod spotlight of Wildcat Combat of Skyrim. In this mod spotlight, I'm going to describe what the mod is, some of its features, and then I'm going to give you my thoughts on it. I haven't played it super extensively, but I've definitely played it enough to the point where I really understand the gist of what it does. Basically, Wildcat is a overhaul mod for combat, except it's a little bit more lightweight than Ultimate Combat or Duel or a lot of those other combat mods. Even though it's pretty lightweight, it actually adds a bunch of features. Not only that, but I think that the features that it adds are actually significantly less disruptive to the gameplay than a lot of other overhauls. For instance, it adds an injury system, but the injury system isn't so much something that greatly impacts you beyond the fight. It's an injury system that kind of plays with your stats while you're in combat. So depending on where your character gets hit, in the head, in the chest, on the foot, there will be an appropriate injury that you'll have to suffer through, usually for a couple minutes. It's basically designed where you have to adjust your play style around the injury while you're in combat, but it's not so much something you need to super worry about after combat. So unlike a lot of injury-based mods, it's not going to slow down your movement a bunch, it's not going to really affect a lot of other things in the game, but it's definitely something that you need to be aware about. For example, a cranium injury will cause rapid magicka loss. Injuries to the ribcage cause rapid stamina loss. Injuries to the foot may make you stagger when you're running or trip when you're sprinting. Basically, there's an injury for every part of the body and it affects your movement slightly, but mostly affects things like your health and your stamina and your magicka. Now, another thing that it changes are the damage modifiers. Basically, you can still change whatever difficulty you want to have, except the modifiers are slightly different. Here on screen, you can see the damage modifiers that existed in vanilla, and then also right next to them, you can see the damage modifiers that are changed. In my opinion, it's a lot more immersive, and it's also kind of nice that there's actually a difficulty setting that you can change. So it's really up to you whatever you want. Now, when you take damage, you lose health. This actually affects you more than you would think. For instance, when you have a pretty full health bar, you take a lot less damage than when you're severely injured. On top of that, the AI will notice when your health bar is starting to get low, and usually that's when they'll become more aggressive. Generally speaking, the state of the AI is pretty defensive to begin with. Until you start getting into close combat, when they see openings, or when they notice that you're injured, then they'll get a lot more aggressive. In my experience playing through this mod, I found it was really important for me to keep moving around and to not let them hit me. Because this mod also adds another feature, which is staggering. Staggering is basically how you die. I found that if I got hit more than a couple times by an NPC, especially during the beginning of the game, I would get staggered and then I would get staggered and the more health that you lose, the more severely your stagger effect is. So basically, if you're next to two different NPCs and they're both hitting you, the more health that you lose, the more they're going to try to hit you. And then also, it's gonna stagger you more, and stagger you even more, and to the point where you're pretty much helpless. And I totally don't think that this is a problem. I mean, it might not be something everybody wants in their combat mod, but in my opinion, it's pretty realistic. So if you're going up against two different people and they're whacking you with their sticks, like, back and forth, like, you're probably not gonna have a lot of openings. The stagger effect also affects NPCs, though, so you can keep that in mind. Generally speaking, the best way to go into combat is by taking the initiative yourself. Baiting out an attack, dodging it, and then attacking is also very effective. Generally, you, you just don't want to get hit. And you definitely don't want two or even three NPCs all coming at you at once. In the vanilla game, it's like, whatever, your health bar just goes down, it's not a big deal. But when you have to think about staggering, then the effects of being double teamed are just enormous. Now, one of the features that is basically amazing is timed block. So if you're able to raise your shield during a one second interval of them hitting you, it basically means that you're able to block their attack and then stagger them. So it's a lot more effective than just holding up your shield because you only absorb about 50% of the damage. And also it, it depends on your level that will modify that. But generally speaking, if you're able to get a timed block, that's a win-win because not only do you block a lot more of the damage, but you also stagger your opponent. And once you get an NPC to be staggered, then you can just go in. And it affects them just as it affects you. You stagger them once, it's easier to stagger them again, and then you just go to town on them. The less HP that you have, the more easy it is to stagger them. So usually I found the best way to defeat an NPC is just by completely overwhelming them. Although it can be really tricky when you're dealing with two, two different NPCs or three different NPCs. So it's important to make sure that you're moving around a lot and you're able to 
to position yourself in like an optimal way. Combat's basically all about initiative. And when I started with this, this mod, and I, I didn't really look up any details about it, I kind of went in blind, it was really, really hard to manage at first because I kept getting staggered because I was dumb and I let them hit me. Um, and it was difficult. It was a difficult adjustment, but after I kind of understood the way it worked, it got a lot easier. So it definitely ups difficulty of combat for sure, and it definitely changes it quite a bit, but I think that's actually a good thing. I'm always a big fan of overhaul mods that really change the way you play because it gives you more of a fresh feeling in the game. I'm a big fan of Ultimate Combat. It's the overhaul mod for combat that I use generally, and I don't know which one I'm gonna stick with, but I have to say that the fact that I'm even debating about it at all really means that this mod is worth your try. Now, keep in mind there is a menu that you can go into where you can change the settings, so if you feel like you want to get rid of timed block altogether, you want to get rid of staggering, or you want to decrease the amount that you stagger, or whatever the heck you want to do, there are tons of options that you can change in the menu, so you can kind of tailor it to your own liking. As long as you make sure that you don't get staggered too much, you're able to manage your health to try to keep it on the higher side, so you're damaged a lot less by staggering, and NPCs are less aggressive, so potions are really important at keeping healthy. And always being aware of the status effects that affect your stats through injuries is really important. It's important to keep in mind that this mod is probably not going to be compatible with any other combat mods. So if you have an overhaul installed, you're probably going to want it uninstalled if you want to try this one. If I had to compare it between ultimate combat and duel, I would say it's probably more like duel. Because initiative is important and staggering is certainly an element. But I actually think that staggering plays a way bigger role in this particular overhaul than in duel. And for all of my Requiem playing friends out there, if you add it to Requiem, it makes it significantly harder. So keep that in mind if you're interested in doing that. There are a lot of other features that this mod changed. I just gave you the big basic ones. If you want to know everything that I changed, you can go to the mod page. And if you want to download it, you can go to the mod page. Just make sure that if you download it and you enjoy it, endorse it. If you guys want to see another mod spotlight, I made one about common clothes, which basically adds immersive NPC variants in clothing, along with other clothing that you can wear yourself. I also have a video on Windpath, which is a quaint little house mod that is definitely one of my favorites. If you guys want me to make more mod spotlights, please give this video a thumbs up. And if you want to see more videos from me, then please subscribe. Thank you so much, and I will see you in the next video.